Hi guys! How we doing? Jessica here. This is part two of my uh, loose powder collection. Um, well, I guess loose and pressed. Um, part two I just posted, so be looking up for that. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I recently did organize kind of everything, so this is just kind of how I like it. Um, everything's in my view. I can just reach it and, um, yeah, go to town. All right, so let's just start here. I've got the Huda Beauty. This is their loose powder. I've got three different shades. I've got uh, Kunafa. I've got Banana Bread and Blondie. And um, this is their Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Um, you got Huda right there. It looks like her. Um, I love this powder so much. That's why I got multiple shades. That way I can use it on clients and match their skin tone and whatnot. Um, but I also like that they've got a little protective plastic thing here. And they've got a loose kind of cloth mesh uh, situation. So um, you can just dab your blender in and set your foundation and be on your way. Um, and it's kind of a no mess, no mess, no fuss kind of thing. Um, also, you can use a brush in there and just you won't have to deal with all the excess. Like, I loved their idea in this uh, loose powder. It just really, really is something. And uh, this is my shade, but um, it does have a kind of perfumed scent. So if that bothers you, maybe... Maybe this one isn't the one for you, but it is one of the better ones. Okay, and then I have a little cutie pie right here. This is the Makeup Forever HD. Honestly, I don't think I've ever used this. No, yeah, I haven't used it. Matter of fact, I'll probably just keep it um, or give it away. Um, maybe I'll just have it for, like, traveling. I don't know. I don't know. I don't need it. But, uh, oh, it's Ultra HD. Micro definition, micro finishing. Okay, so it must be a very fine milled powder. All right, my next favorite, 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 favorite. This is the Too Faced Born This Way. I have two because they recently did kind of um, get a better shade range, so I was able to find one closer to my shade. Um, this is the translucent, though, their ethereal setting powder, and um, it does kind of just blend into your skin tone, but it does kind of leave a little bit of a cast. However, this is my favorite setting powder because it truly does just a wonderful job. It's got this little easy top thing, also kind of prevents a mess. Um, I pour it in the lid, like whatever I need, and then um, dab in, but it literally sets everything so fine, so nicely. Um, I don't even have to go back in throughout the day with like a pressed powder because it just sets it in so nice and tight, locks it in, and you're good. You're good for the day. And the Born This Way is my favorite foundation, so uh, these paired together, unstoppable. You're going to have just a great makeup day with these. Um, and this is the one in translucent medium. So I do like this one a little bit better just because it doesn't kind of doesn't kind of lighten my foundation you know some powders that they're a little bit lighter will have a tendency to just kind of knock your shade down a little this one doesn't do that so I love that and speaking of Too Faced being so amazing uh, this is their oh, peach perfect and um, I absolutely love this I need to see if they still uh, sell this because someone told me that they actually expanded their shade range in this and the peach perfect foundation is also one of my favorite foundations so um they got it right with this not only does it smell sweet like peaches and kind of like their eyeshadow palette but it's also got that kind of like mess free um situation and this one actually has a little bit of a peach kind of like uh, peach consistency so it also doesn't take away uh, from your foundation's true color it just oh, it's so beautiful and like I said it smells amazing you're just gonna have a good makeup day 
All right, and the one from Too Faced that wasn't my absolute favorite. I might as well, I don't know why I don't have these all together. This is the Do You um, from Too Faced, and this is their kind of like dewy line or whatnot. And this is the Translucent Radiant Nude. Um, I think maybe I should have got the one a little bit darker than this. I don't know, maybe this is, no, this looks like it could be okay. Um, oh, I don't know though. The only thing about this, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, it is kind of shimmery. You know what? It's got like, it's one thing to be actually dewy, and uh, I do have a couple powders that are kind of dewy, and I have showed you in uh, part one, but this one, like I said, it's got just like a a shimmery finish like who wants their whole entire face to be shimmery I I don't know like I would don't mind putting a little bit of this on my forehead maybe my chin on the cheekbones but um, I don't think this is a, a realistic all-over kind of setting powder it's just not it's not gonna do what you're wanting a setting powder to do all right uh, so next in line we have the RCMA and I actually recently got this um, and everybody was telling me about it. A lot of makeup artists kind of rave about it. So, um, I did get it and I'm telling you what, not only is it adorable for the fact that like, it looks like a spice, like a spice container. Um, but like, it is a little bit messy. I will say that. Like, I'm not too crazy about the idea of the packaging, but, um, if you can just kind of put what you need in the lid, um, it is so super finely milled, so silky. It just blends into your makeup and just melts it kind of together to where um, you're just going to have a very beautiful finish. And uh, it doesn't leave a white cast. It doesn't leave any kind of a white cast. It just really works. So I love it. And I'm glad that somebody told me about that. So, all right, we'll go in the back stuff here in a minute. But, um, yeah, we have the Tarte. This is the Shape Tape setting powder, and I also really like this. It did come with one of these little sponge things, but I keep them in a whole different spot up here. Um, but I love the packaging on this one, too, because it does have that same kind of, like, cloth mesh type deal. And um, it is very finely milled as well. I like it. It's not my favorite. I did find that I was having to touch up my makeup throughout the day just because it was my oils were kind of shining through and it just it didn't seem like it set it down good enough. But um but I do like the packaging and I do think it could be good if you're not gonna be wearing your makeup for a super long day. Alright, next, 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 we have the infamous Jeffree Star. Uh this is the what is the name of this stuff? I guess it's just banana powder. I thought it had some cool name, but no, it's just the banana powder. Um, some people say they smell like a waffle cone when they smell this. I don't, well, maybe a little bit. I guess I kind of do. Um, <clears throat> what I don't like about this is this packaging. Like, this drives me nuts. Yeah, I could twist this or whatever and close it but it's not easy to do like it's not moving easily there we go I guess it is okay I'm a liar um it does set down my makeup beautifully it really does my I don't have to powder it all with this too like it's just it's gonna lock it down you can bake with it under your eyes it's not going to cause creasing it's not going to make you look old it's just going to set your face make you look poreless, make you look uh, wrinkle-free, and you're going to have a beautiful makeup day with this one as well. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, however, the packaging is kind of a nightmare, so um, I don't know. I feel like they could have done a little bit better with it, but other than that, it's good. <clears throat> All right, and next we have the Fenty Beauty. And I really do love this powder as well. I have it in cashew and I also have it in banana. And um, I really do love this powder. Um, 
I tend to go towards more for the cashew. Um, I don't know. I just, I love how luxe the packaging is for one. It's, it reminds me of their loose highlighters and it's just, it looks beautiful. Like it's something you could set on your vanity and it's just going to look nice. Um, very luxe. It does come with these little plastic, uh, like stoppers. It comes in the like box with it, but you don't have to use it if you don't want. Of course, I'm definitely using it because I put them on their side. Um, but it keeps everything nice and neat together. It doesn't have a scent. Yeah, I don't smell a scent with this, but um, yeah, no, it's very beautiful, very finely milled. Um, they have several, several different shades. You shouldn't have any problem finding your shade. Um, and I believe I have an extra one of these that I'll be doing a giveaway for. So be looking out for that because I'll be doing a giveaway for one of these. All right. Um, next, next row, we have the, this is the, what brand is this? It just says banana setting powder. I'm trying to find a brand. Oh, Bella Pierre. Sorry. Yeah. I got this a long time ago in a boxy charm and, uh, packaging is nuts like it just literally came through so easily um it is very finely milled it is nice um it does kind of leave a white cast on my skin so that's why i don't use it very often um i'm sure if you use the setting spray directly after it would kind of melt together but um it's just it's not one of my favorites all right, then we have one of my tried and true. Oh, I love this one so much. This powder leaves such a luminous, uh, without being shimmery, such a, a beautiful finish. It just, your skin is going to look so healthy, so natural. Um, the only thing I don't like about this, again, is the packaging. They were trying to be cute with that little teeny H. However, I have a really hard time knocking powder out. And then the lid is so weirdly shaped that like, where are you supposed to do this? I'm so confused. Like, I usually knock it into the lid anyway. And I just have to like awkwardly move my beauty blender around and kind of soak it up and blot. But it's, they could have done better. I just really feel like they could have done better. But the powder itself, A+. Plus, um, it's just my go-to for sure. This and the Born This Way. Um, and then there's another one I'm about to talk about that is one of my favorites. So yeah. All right. Next we have the Pretty Vulgar. I love this packaging too. Everything Pretty Vulgar is just beautifully packaged. They really do take a lot of time and thought and energy into their packaging, designing. Um, I mean, look how cute that is. That's a decal too. Like it's 3D. Um, yeah. And the beautiful gold around it gorgeous um but this is called the powder room matte about it and this is in 147 translucent um i love the little puff it comes with i don't really use the puff because i'm always afraid that i'll get foundation on it so i just like set it aside but um this also will leave a beautiful finish on your skin i'm like going over powder <laughs> um Again, I wish they did have a little bit of a darker shade just because my skin is a little darker. Um, but, you know, after you bronze it up, bronze it back up or whatever, it uh, it looks great. It, it is a good one. I like it. I've only used it a couple times, so I'm not, like, super savvy on it, but I like it. All right. And next favorite of mine is the Milk Makeup. And they do have multiple shades in this, which is another reason I adore it. Um, this is also going to just snatch your skin. It's going to make you look like you were just born with fucking gorgeous skin. And this is the translucent medium. It's literally perfect. The packaging is interesting. It comes with this weird little sponge that I've tried to use, but didn't really impress me. So I kind of just don't really use it anymore. I just, once again, take my beauty blender, and this kind of like lid thing doesn't open real well. Sometimes it breaks off, um, but, and then you just got that mesh thing, so, which I love. I love this idea. It's just, it's good. It's a win, um, and then I'll take my beauty blender, 
dunk her in, get what I need, and go to town. And it leaves a similar finish as the veil does, the hourglass veil. It's just a very natural kind of a, almost a touch of dew. Um, but, like, it doesn't, this is not going to suck the life out of your skin like some of these powders do. This is going to really just rejuvenate, kind of lock it in. All right, and then next I have another one of the Becca Hydra, Hydra Mist. This is one of my favorites. I love it. Um, it does not come with a whole lot. This is a brand new one from BoxyCharm. Uh, people were, like, complaining that, wow, I, mine came half empty. Like, no, it's just you don't get a lot. And I think it even does say on it that you, it does say, like, you get point. 35 ounces compared to you know what's this say 0.42 like yeah you're not gonna get as much but um, it is beautiful beautiful finish feels awesome on the skin just a very good powder all right one of my very favorite drugstore brand powders is the fit me and I do have two different shades because I like a lighter setting powder under my eyes and something darker all over so uh yeah these are freaking amazing they are the best drugstore powder loose setting powder that you will find in my opinion and there's one that comes close and i'm about to talk about that but um this is one of my favorites so yeah and it's very affordable so yeah all right let's get towards the back here okay we have the Drumroll, Airspun by Cody, and this is their original formula since 1935. Just, you see the cotton balls, just reminds you of like back in the day. And I did actually get to see like an old uh, package of one of these and it was like cardboard and just so cool. So yeah, this is vintage. It's definitely a tried and true. It smells it's going to smell like grandma's baby powder or something, but I love it. And it does good. It sets your makeup down. It locks it in. It leaves a nice finish. It's obviously been trusted for a very long time, so it's a win in my book. All right. We're almost done, guys. Those of you who are hanging with me, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't think anybody really enjoys makeup this much, but other than me <laughs> but if you do hey how are you get a hold of me um all right we have the wet and wild photo focus and this is their translucent i actually just recently got this and i've tried it once or twice but um i really can't form an opinion yet because um i haven't used it long enough the packaging is nice i love the size it's like the cody airspun um in size it doesn't have a scent no scent um, it seems like it might leave a bit of a cast, but again, we'll have to really see. I wish they had different shades. They might. They might even have different shades now. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much powder, like just loose powder everywhere. <laughs> it's amazing. And then back here, what is this? Translucent extra coverage. Oh, okay. They're both extra. So this is just a backup, I guess. Honestly, though, I've had this one for like three years, and look how much we still have. It comes with 2.3 ounces, so this is probably the most, this is probably the one that I have that comes with the most. So I don't even know why I needed a backup. Let me know if you guys want me to do a giveaway on that one, because I could definitely do that. All right, so almost done. Okay, we have the... Hourglass, and this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked version. Um, it's got a little list that I kept, just kind of, if I ever have a problem figuring out what each thing is for, for some reason. Um, again, this one is one of my favorites. It's the Soft Light, um, and this is the Filtered Light. These are great for using under the eyes and just kind of setting all over the skin. Um, one is going to leave a little bit of a luminous kind of finish, and the other is just really 
which is very, very lightly going to set things in. Um, and then we have a bronzer, which honestly isn't very dark. Like I'm not going to be able to use that to bronze my skin. Um, I've got the two blushes here, which honestly don't even show up on me. And then the highlighter, which I actually really love the highlighter. Like that is gorgeous. I really want their uh, highlighting palette because it's insane. But um, other than that, you guys, if you knew how much this cost, you would be like, what? Why? It's $80. $80 and I can only use three of the things. So that's nuts. But if you're wanting like a more affordable version of that, Becca has these awesome Be A Light palettes. And I actually, I use these mainly on clients because they're just perfect perfect to do with one wedding makeup and whatnot. I've got the light to medium. It comes with this powder, which is amazing, excellent for under the eyes, highlighting the you know areas of your face you want to kind of stand out. And this one is kind of like a finishing powder that's going to, I'm sorry, this is the, yeah, this is the, okay, the light to medium. And uh, this is going to just kind of set the skin. Maybe uh, if you want to use this as a bronzer, that could work. Um, I'm sorry, no, this is the bronzer. This is going to just set your skin. Um, it leaves a gorgeous, gorgeous finish. It reminds me so much of the Hourglass. And it's so much, so much more affordable. Um, and then the blush, the blush actually shows up. I'm sorry, I keep hitting this. Yeah, the blush is gorgeous. It's got a little bit of luminosity, so it kind of like sparkles on the skin and the light. And these were a hell yeah score for me. I absolutely love them. Um, I wish I had more room. <laughs> okay, and this is the medium to dark, and this is the one that I use on myself. That blush is stunning, is absolutely stunning. The bronzer is perfect, like literally my perfect shade. Um, and like when I'm traveling, I like to take this with me. It's got a finishing powder, so kind of setting powder, if you will, and just like a highlighting kind of thing to kind of, you know, here I'm going to show my face, just to kind of go under the eyes, just kind of like a triangle on the forehead, down the nose, a little on the chin, and you're good. And it's got a beautiful mirror, so yeah, you can do your whole face look with this palette and get knock a couple of different things out in one. All right, guys. That's it. My goodness. Messy. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, that is the conclusion to part two. And if you would be interested in seeing, um, you know, more videos like this, I have plenty more drawers full of lots of makeup. So let me know. All right. Love you guys. Bye.